In this video, we are going to take a look at the water cycle. So by the end of the video, you are going to be able to describe each of the components of the water cycle. Water is important for life and it is distributed through the biosphere in a cycle known as the water cycle. Let's begin our water cycle looking at our atmosphere. And so in our atmosphere, an important component is our clouds. And what happens is when water vapor cools, it condenses and falls to the earth as rain. This is a process, both A and B, known as precipitation. So in A, the precipitation is happening over land. And in B, it is happening over the ocean or another body of water. Once water has reached the earth, it's stored in living things before it's returned to the atmosphere. Now in this diagram, our living things are represented by the different trees and plants on the land. For these trees and plants, water is absorbed by the roots of the trees and it's used in photosynthesis, which is a process you learned about in the last lesson. Once it's stored in the trees or plants, water could also be lost through the leaves. And so this is label C and this is a process known as transpiration. Okay, so that is the process of water being lost through the leaves from our plants and being released back into the atmosphere. Water can also return to the atmosphere through evaporation from soil and other sources. Now, it, I think it's really important to point out here, the amount of precipitation in an area determines what type of plants grow there which in turn is also going to determine the type of animals that live there. And so all of this has a huge impact on the type of ecosystem that is being established. Now let's continue. Some of the water that's entered into the land can also enter into the ocean through a process called seepage. Um, and then this is also called percolation. So that process is called percolation. Okay. Water can also reach the ocean as something called runoff. And so that includes the flow from rivers. It includes things like the melting from snow and glaciers. So it is running off and running off into the oceans. Now, because the sun is warm, we have solar radiation and that causes the water from the oceans to evaporate back into our atmosphere. So label F here is called evaporation. So that's the process of water returning from the ocean back into the atmosphere. And about 80% of our water enters back into the atmosphere this way. And so the cycle would continue from there. So again, it, the water vapor would condense. It would then be brought down to our earth through precipitation you would have all the different processes and eventually evaporation back into the atmosphere. So this are, is the main process of the water cycle. 